Initiated discussions with the IMF uh, over a new multi-billion uh, dollars loan agreement. Uh, Pakistani Prime Minister is here and seeking U.S. help in terms of investments. Um, is U.S. supporting or can support Pakistan in these challenging times? So we welcome last month's announcement that the IMF has reached a staff level agreement with Pakistan. We understand, the, uh, as you said, the Pakistani Minister of Finance is in town uh, here in Washington for meetings uh, at the IMF and World Bank. Pakistan has made progress to stabilize its economy, and we support its efforts to manage its daunting debt burden. We encourage the government to prioritize and expand economic reforms to address its economic challenges. Our support for the country's economic success is unwavering, and we will continue to engage with Pakistan through technical agreements as well as through our trade and investment ties, all of which are priorities of our bilateral relationship. So Indian Prime Minister Modi and his Defense Minister has said, uh, have said in a campaign speech that the new India will not hesitate to cross borders to kill terrorists. They are kind of confessing to the assassination of Niger in Canada, Panu's murder to Hart Lord in New York, and killings in Pakistan. Is this statement a concern for Biden? Uh, so as I have said before, the United States is not going to get in the, into the middle of this, but we do encourage uh, both India and Pakistan to avoid escalation and find a resolution through dialogue. So in the past, United States has imposed such sanctions on individuals from foreign countries involved in, in assassination attempts here in United States. Um, but we don't see similar actions against India. What is the reason of this apparent relaxation? So uh, I am never going to preview um, uh, any sanctions uh, actions, which is not to say that there are any coming. But when you ask me to talk about sanctions, it's something that we don't uh, we don't discuss uh, uh, openly.